First of all, um, I like to thank um, Logical um, MOG um, for this video. Um, I'm responding to his video. Um, if you want to subscribe to him, I will have his description um, down in the description box. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And um, I wanted to touch down on this. I really don't touch down too much in this area. But I just wanted to um, bring a little wokeness to it. Um, for we can understand what's going on. Now this um, young brother right here says that, you know, um, black women don't find him attractive. Um, other races of women do. Um, he feels that they appreciate his intellect and um his education and i guess um he believes that black women think that he's a cornball or the typical um square black guy you know what i'm saying that people tend to say that black women are not really uh attracted to um so um we're going to get into this video then i'm going to break down what's really going on here and um it's not the black woman's fault but I will give you the wokeness of the situation for we can break this down, for we can educate ourselves as people and as black people to what's really going on. And, um, but let's get to the video. Why I do not date or take black women serious. And it's not because I don't want to talk or date or not take them serious. It's because on average, okay, your typical black woman will call me unattractive, okay? So she calls me unattractive, but yet all the other races of women, immediately they fall in love with me. They, they love my personality, my character, the way I move, my intellect, how I do things. But the black woman, all she sees is, in her mind, cornball. He, 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 it's even, it's, it's, there is no in-between. There is no gray area with the black woman, okay? So if there's no gray area, I either have to be a thug or I have to be like, and a super white man, like a black man that's white. And if I'm neither one of those two things, I'm in the gray area. And if you're in the gray area with a black woman, you don't exist. She does not see you. Understand? So on this video, family, let us educate each other. You know, no going back and forth because, you know, I don't really do the gender war nonsense. But let's educate ourselves on what's really going on here, what's happening. And let's get down to the dynamics of why this is happening. Now, I'm just going to cut straight to the chaser. The white American media, okay, portray black men as gangsters and thugs. We all watch TV, right? We all grow up watching TV. And the majority of um, men that our young sisters get to see as they're growing up, you know what I'm saying? They start to be more interested in boys and stuff like that. They start getting in their teenage ages and stuff like that. You know, they, they look on TV and to see what their definition of a man is. You know what I'm saying? And what the racist media has done, they have represented the thug and the gangster as the black typical male. So naturally when a young black girl is watching tv and the only thing she sees is the you know the thug type of black man on tv portrayed as a man you know what i'm saying she's going to believe that hey this is a man so this is what a black woman is going to look for because she has been trained and raised up to believe that this thug this this tough talking guy you know what i'm saying he is the real man you see what i'm saying so when she see another version of the black man which is the educated black man you know what i'm saying she's of course she's gonna say well he's soft because he doesn't act like the guy that i grew up watching the black guy that i grew up watching on tv is tough the black guy that i grew up watching on tv is a gangster a thug he robs and steals and murders and you know he's a tough guy you know what i'm saying you know and um that's what i want because she been led to believe as a young girl growing up that this is what a black man is and if a black man doesn't act this way he is not a man i'm saying and if you notice see you know he said all other races you know what i'm saying all other races of women you know what i'm saying 
um, like his personality. Why? Because, see, the white and Latino girls, when they're growing up, they get a different representation of their men. When white men are portrayed on TV by the racist media, they're portrayed on TV as educated squares, right? Latinos the same way. They're um, the majority, you know what I'm saying? They get it a little bit, but not as much as we do. You know what I'm saying? But they have at least a lot of representation of educated, you know what I'm saying, uh, um, Latino men on TV. You know what I'm saying? So they get to see that version of a male when the black girl gets to see a different version of her male. So you know I'm saying that's why these white women and these Asian women are attracted to this kind of black guy because he shows the characteristics of what she grew up seeing in the representation of her white man and her Latino man. So she says, okay, I like this kind of black guy because he acts like a Latino man, a white man, civilized, educated. You see what I'm saying? Why? Because that's the way white men and Latino men and Asian men and different other races of men are portrayed on TV. You see what I'm saying? So that's why they are attracted to these kind of black men because these are not the normal kind of black men. You know what I'm saying? This is why a non-white, uh, uh, um, not a non-white, but a non-black woman will tell this kind of black guy, you don't act black. You don't act like the rest of the black guys. You know what I'm saying? Because she also grew up seeing the representation of black men either being thugs and gangsters. You see what I'm saying? So that is the problem right there. And I can't blame black women and I don't blame black women because I know it's the racist media, you know what I'm saying, that has been talking to her and communicating to her as she was a little kid being set in front of that TV. She's been brainwashed to believe and has been uh, what they call it socially programmed into believing that her male, her counterpart, the man that's going to be most likely assigned to her, you know what I'm saying, is a thug. You know what I'm saying? And if he doesn't act this way, then he's not a man. You know what I'm saying? So he should end up dating the thug type of guy and end up, you know what I'm saying, suffering all the consequences of what it is to be with a thug type of guy. See, the media knows that if we train these black girls to grow up to date these kind of men, their future is going to be bleak. But they know if we um, highlight the black educated man, too much on TV, then these young black girls that's growing up are going to be more attracted to the educated, you know, square black guy. And then they're going to be able to put together a structured family and they're going to be able to put together a strong black family and they're going to have a great, bright future. And we all know that the racist people in this country don't want that. So what do they do? They psychologically engineer our young girls into believing that thugs are men and square black men are nothing but squares. You know what I'm saying? Suckers. You know what I'm saying? And whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? To sway them away from dating the right kind of guy. Because believe me, these square guys are going to take care of you. These so-called square guys are not going to leave you with five babies with five babies and stuff like that. The square guy is going to pay his child support. The, the square guy is going to support you. The square guy is going to give you everything that you wish that thug can give you. That's the truth. You know what I'm saying? Point blank, period. So it's not the black woman's fault, okay? Let's educate ourselves as black men and women and as a culture. Let's educate ourselves on the snakish moves of the media and how they socially try to program us into being failures, making wrong uh, 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 mistakes, you know what I'm saying, and basically, you know what I'm saying, um, Painting ourselves into a hole is basically what they want us to do. They want us to make the wrong decisions. They don't want us to make the right decisions. And by doing that, they put stumbling blocks in front of us and stuff like that to trip us up, you know what I'm saying, and guide us in the wrong direction. So I hope I answered your question and really broke this down to you. So it's not the see, we, we blame too much stuff on each other. It's the black man's fault. This is like this. No, it's the black woman's fault that it. No, it's the media. Pay attention to the media. Stay woke. Stay woke. Stay woke. Pay attention to how they socially 
you know what I'm saying, educate us, pay attention to how they socially program us, okay, because they can control us through programming. That's why it's called television, okay, television programming, because they are programming you to believe certain things, you know what I'm saying? So until they start putting more positive representation on TV, yes, unfortunately, you know what I'm saying, a lot of black girls that are growing up under this program of believing that the thug guy you know what i'm saying the, the 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 gunners and the um you know what i'm saying and the little babies and and stuff like that you know what i'm saying the futures that these are the real men you know what i'm saying so that's why a lot of sisters gravitate toward these kind of men because they have been socially engineered to do so thank you for listening stay woke man don't blame each other Pay attention. Stay woke, man. Stay woke. We're not enemies. Stay woke. They want us to be enemies. They want us to hate each other. They want black men and black women to be enemies for they can destroy you. Don't do it. Don't fall for the okie doke. Stay woke.